So you want to be a slug shotgun god. Fair enough, we can make that happen, but first things first, I'm going to need you to go ahead and dismantle your Felminer's Lie. Be honest with yourself, it's holding you back, and we won't be needing that where we're going. Next up, go ahead and close your eyes and start levitating and meditating. This should be easy since you already know slug shotguns are king, so your brain is already massive. This pose will allow you to better absorb this video's information. First up, let's talk about why you want to become a slug shotgun god. You already clicked on this video, which is the first step to salvation, but let's get down to brass tacks. Slug shotguns are the most badass special weapon in the game, of course. They look cool, sound cool, and getting beautiful one-taps feels incredible, especially when you're shutting down spread shotgun apes. But slugs are also just extremely competitive. They fire a single high damage bullet, called a slug, rather than a spread of pellets, so you can pick exactly where you want your damage to go, whether that's the head or the body, or the mind or the heart. If you hit someone's head within 11 meters, it's a one-hit kill, but you can push that much further with damage perks or opening shot and get some really nasty kills. If you hit the body within range, it'll be 150 damage, which makes it extremely easy to clean up damage with a melee, or vice versa, if you hit a body shot with a hand cannon, you can just swap to your slug and body the person and they'll die. Furthermore, slug shotguns haven't suffered from the slew of spread shotgun nerfs that have happened over the past month, so you can actually rely on them. Once you learn exactly where your damage falloff is on your slug shotgun roll, you can just rely on your special weapon, which is huge. You can do a trust fall with it and it'll catch you every time. Slug shotguns are the new kings of reliability in the close range special weapon department, and for this reason, it's why we see so many top players choosing them. Because reliability is what forms the foundation upon which you can build skill and execute amazing plays. If you have the potential to pull off huge plays, but your weapon just ain't up to snuff reliability wise, and you get bad RNG when it matters most, you're done. Think of all the times your spread shotgun just whiffs because you got bad RNG. That's why you want a reliable slug. And that's why you should put in the time. Alright, in order for you to become a slug shotgun god, we first need to pick you out one slug shotgun to master and never unequip. So go ahead and look in the mirror and ask yourself what primary weapon you actually enjoy using. Because if you're having fun, you're gonna do better. Maybe it's an energy slot weapon like Palindrome or Allegro. If so, go ahead and put on Blink and get yourself a Heritage from Deepstone Crypt. Heritage is the best legendary slug shotgun in the entire game. Or if you have an exotic slot open, then let me introduce you to Chaperone, the meanest cowpoke this side of the Mississippi. You can get the quest for this slug from Astacross in the Cosmodrome. If your favorite primary weapon is in the kinetic slot, then go ahead and grab a Sojourner's Tail from the Umbral Oven in the HELM. This thing is a great all-around slug for most everyone. If you already have a good first and last out, feel free to use that, or Bone Chiller is another great contender, but I think Sojo is going to work the best for most people. If you have an exotic slot open and you're looking for an energy slug, consider duality because it's extremely good. It can also fire as a spread shotgun and it has generous range, aim assist, and handling. If you want more background before you pick a slug for life, after this video go check out my other video that runs through every single slug shotgun god roll. Okay, once you've picked a slug shotgun, go ahead and equip it, masterwork it, and don't take it off for at least three months. No matter what you do, I am forbidding you from unequipping it. Go ahead and take a piece of tape and cover up that slot on your monitor so you're not tempted to switch weapons. The key to becoming a slug god is commitment, so this is the way. No matter if you're playing strikes, nightfalls, raids, or control, trials, or survival, you will leave this slug equipped. Also, you're not allowed to change the perks on it once you've picked out your role. I want you to get as much range and handling as possible and then just stick with those perks and don't change them. Also keep in mind opening shot adds 20 range, so if you have that perk then going above 80 range is kind of overkill. Once you have your perks selected to get high range and handling, don't touch them. The whole reason for this exercise is getting uncomfortably familiar with your slugs so you start knowing exactly where your range fall off is and how fast your handling is. I want you to screenshot your slug shotgun roll and make it your phone background. I want you to form a bond so deep with this slug that your children, wives, husbands, pets wonder why you're so distant. When they ask, you tell them because you need to spend more time with Philo. And this brings me to my next point, which is that slugs are just tiny, adorable sniper rifles. The same principles of practicing sniping applies to slug shotguns as well. Good snipers pick rifles they can commit to. They need to rely on these tools so they can focus on aiming. That's why they pick one sniper to master, or one archetype to master with identical zoom levels, damage levels, and roughly the same handling, if not identical as well. Your goal here with your slug shotgun is to do the same as you would with a sniper rifle. You find a range and handling that you like, and you stick to it. You just don't change it. 
Now this is going to be painful at first, it was for me and it will be for you unless you already have practice. Especially if you're coming from spread shotguns, this is going to be a very different playstyle for you. But you can do it, I got faith in you. And the payoff is absolutely worth it. The playstyle with slugs is similar to snipers in many ways, the first of which is how snipers need to set up shots. You can get nasty quickscopes and flicks, of course, with slugs and snipes, but even then, the reason everything from those fancy trick shots to long range precision is working for you is because you have to identify where an enemy's head is going to be rather than where their whole body is in an instant, and that's a different skill. You need to be positioning yourself where you have time to scope in and click those heads. Even with high handling and reaction speed, you just need time to be able to hit headshots. It's very different from a super fast reaction of just hip firing at somebody's whole body. So this is the first skill with the slug shotgun, and that is positioning and aim, right in the same vein as snipers. You can't and shouldn't be getting as close to people as you would with the spread shotgun because you don't need to. You need to play just a few meters further back than normal and let people come to you. The way you will win is usually by just being positioned better and catching spread shotgun players outside of their optimal range. Or you'll win by surprising people how far away you can kill them in one shot. But whichever way you go, you need to be really conscientious of your position so you have a moment to react. Think of yourself as a more modest ape. You can still ape and be aggressive, but just a few steps back of how apey a normal shotgun ape would be. You're more dignified, you're a slug user. This will give you the space you need to dominate everyone else in your range, from hand cannons and SMGs who are getting too close, to spread shotguns who are a little too far. That's your home. So that's principle one of slug shotguns, hitting your headshots, knowing where you need to be and where you need to force enemies to be and taking advantage of that. So think of slug principle number one as positioning, so you can click those heads. But you won't always be able to set up a headshot. You might just not have time if things are moving quickly enough and sometimes the smarter thing to do is to just go for the 150 body shot damage from your slug whether you're aiming down sights or hip firing. And this brings me to slug principle number two, which is blinting. Blinting originally meant hitting someone with a sniper body shot and swapping to your primary to clean them up, but I think the definition can easily expand to include slugs. With slugs, a blint is hitting someone with a slug body shot and then cleaning them up with primary damage or a melee. This is often the exact same TTK as spread shotguns, since spread shotguns have such wonky RNG these days, so spread shotgun users almost always have to follow up with a melee to finish their kills too. So you'll be right there with them if you just want to go for the slug body shot and melee cleanup. But more often than not, I find myself loving and actually excelling when I do the opposite of this and damage someone with my primary weapon first, even just a single body shot, and then just swap to the slug and body shot them. It is a brutal combo that catches almost everyone off guard, and the potential here is huge. Because you can direct your damage so precisely with slugs and channel your 150 damage wherever you want on their body over a really long range, your cleanup potential here is actually way, way better than spread shotguns because you aren't relying on lucky pellet RNG to finish your fight for you. And that reliability is huge and a big reason why so many people prefer to rely on slugs. Now let's talk builds. With all slug shotguns, you should strongly consider running the mod Quick Charge to increase your handling, and you absolutely must run a shotgun targeting mod on your helmet for greater aim assist and aim down sight speed. I would also strongly consider running a shotgun unflinching mod so it's easier for you to land headshots, especially when sliding into gunfire. As for weapons, honestly, do whatever you want, I don't care. I think some of the best pairings for slugs in this PvP meta will be hand cannons and pulse rifles. I believe this summarizes exactly what you need to do to become a slug shotgun god in Destiny PvP. You must accept slug shotguns as king and renounce spread shotguns. You need to pick one slug shotgun and just never take it off, even if it's painful. And you need to understand the two guiding principles of all slug shotguns, which is knowing when to set up a headshot versus when to blint. If you follow these instructions, you are sure to become a slug shotgun god. This will cause your intelligence and beauty and general clout level to increase by at least 220% across the board, if not more. You will notice people are drawn to you at parties, your KD will grow bigger, and you will of course feel more at peace in life. Before we part ways, I want to issue a few closing notes about my slug shotgun video I posted two weeks ago that reviews the god rolls for each slug. First up is quick draw. I noticed some comments asking why I didn't recommend quick draw on any slugs, which is a good question, but also, 
Don't ever question a slug shotgun user. Many of them are too busy meditating, going flawless, or holding positions of leadership in the world. It's best to just trust what they have to say. Anyway, the reason I didn't recommend Quick Draw is because it changes handling speeds as you are using your slug shotgun. One second after swapping your Quick Draw slug, or as soon as you aim down sights or fire a shot, the handling benefits of Quick Draw go away. So stowing your weapon or descoping is going to be slow. To me, this is just one more thing I have to think about and get used to, and I don't like that. I want my handling speed to be the exact same throughout all of my usage of the slug. Of course, a roll with quick draw isn't bad, and you can do great things with it. I just think other perks are much better choices. Second up is a big one, and that's range. For some reason, a bunch of people seem to think slug shotguns don't benefit from range above 80. I'm not sure where this idea came from, but it is false. I tested the range of a 71 range heritage and a 100 range heritage multiple times using Darcy and a lot of patience, thank you to my friend Feathers for testing, and to Basil Platten for trusting me to borrow his account for testing, and it is clear that slugs continue to benefit from range up to 100. With slugs, it causes you to do more damage over longer ranges, as well as experience stickier aim assist and thus better accuracy, since aim assist actually guides your accuracy cone onto your target in range throws those cones out further. Now, it is worth noting the benefit of 100 range versus 71 range on heritage is like one meter. It is unbelievably small. It's going from a 10.5 meter one hit kill to an 11.3 meter one hit kill. This is such a small distance, you will barely notice it in your gameplay, and we could barely notice it in testing. And as a side note, even if Feathers and I somehow messed up our testing like 20 or 30 times over, the difference is less than one meter in range. And furthermore, once a slug does hit its range cap, the damage and aim assist just falls off very, very steeply. Like one meter or less, and it's just all gone. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps you become a slug shotgun god, and good luck out there. Next up, go find out which slug shotgun roll is right for you over at my other video, which is linked in the description or on screen right now, or jump into PvP, equip your slug shotgun, and start practicing. You are now on a path to greatness that is filled with slugs. Enjoy. Alright, catch you later. Bye.